Okay, so what if you can turn this device into a persistent backdoor? Now, you've seen the power of billing, the command and control tool that I've discussed last time that gave you a reverse shell. But the main problem with a reverse shell is that it disappears the moment the target computer reboots. Today, I'll show you how to solve that problem, give you permanent access using a USB army knife, some little scripting, and this device, an ESP32 S3 gig from our sponsor, <laughs> WaveShare, share awesome hardware. So let's dive in. Okay, so quick re recap that we have. In order for you to generate a VLAN pay payload, all you have to do is of in peeling, like what I have here, type generate payload equals Windows reverse TCP PowerShell underscore let's use B2 L host equals eth0 and enter okay so that would be the script that we will be using now if you remember in my previous script there we have done some obfuscation on it and now i have it on this powershell let's just right click it open with open it with notepad i cannot english today and as you can see i have obfuscated it and when we save it it is not being detected as a virus by the Windows machine. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to create a batch file that will install or that will be called by our USB Army knife. And this one will be installing, I'll open it. This one will be installing our PowerShell into the Windows scheduler. As you can see here, these are just some parameters. You don't need to change this. You, you, I mean, you can change it if you want to change the file, you want to change the folder destination. But usually, we will be putting it on the app data inside roaming. Okay, so this is where we're gonna put it let's go and open task scheduler okay so let's remove this because this is the okay so we have according to the script we have named is named that as check security patches so that it will not be so obvious And, okay, so as you can see here, if there's an existing scheduled task with the same name, it will just delete it. Then it will recreate that task and execute it using PowerShell and the script that we have every one minute. Okay, so let's try it out. Right click. Let's just run it as administrator just to make sure. Okay, so I put a pause on the script. We'll just remove that when we have created it. And as you can see, it is copying and it has created it successfully. So let's just go here. Okay, so let's just wait for a minute here. But while we are doing that, Let's go here on the task scheduler and let's just refresh this. Right click refresh. So you can see there is now the security. Um, check security patches, schedule task. Okay, so if we go into the folder, there is our check PS1. And just in time, as you can see, there is this new session. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we will be creating an image. Now, one thing you need to understand is that this is not a USB 
drive, okay? So this is a mini computer. So when you plug it in, it acts like a computer. So meaning that since this is a computer, there's no way for you to access the hard disk that is inside or the SD card that is inside. Now, the way to access file is for you to mount certain images. And that is what we will be doing. And that's the reason why we need to create an image now. Okay, so we will be just using the same one, the same commands here. Let's just use the same name, agent.img, okay? And ls. Okay, so we are inside here. Let's just get, create a um, mkdir dir image. Let's open this. Open folder. There is image here. So let's just copy paste the two files that we have here. Okay, so we have that. Okay, now it's just a matter of just copy pasting all of this and it will be creating our image, agent that image. Okay, so now that we have finished creating it, the image, let's just right click, copy, right click, paste. It is copying now. Let's try to check it. Um, open with file manager. As you can see, the files are already there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this script for installing it and put it in our USB army knife. Now let's go to the install agent. So this one here on the USB army knife. And this is the script, or at least the baseline of the script that we will be using. So let's just copy this and let's do some simple modification on it. Okay. Now let's go to this folder. Uh, let's create a new text document. Let's name it as auto run. It should be that yes. So let, let's just make it auto run that yes when we are saving it. So let's just copy this. Let's use the same logic that it has. But now instead of running or checking for the in one that batch file, it will check for the initialize that batch. Okay. Initialize that batch file. So this is the same one that we will be doing here. We will not be passing any variables to it. And that should be it. <laughs> okay. So let's save it instead of the TXT. Let's save as autoran.ds. Okay, that should be good to go. Okay. Okay, so now that we have copied those two files here, let's put it on the ESP32 gig from our sponsor again, WaveShare. Put it in there. Okay, and let's just plug it in. And let's see what will happen. Okay, so let's check it. There is the check file that we have. Refresh. Let's try to refresh it. Let's see if... Okay, so check security patches is also there. Let's open our BM. Where? Go to our Kali. Let's wait for it to resume. <laughs> and let's wait for it. Um, let's wait for this to run or we can force this to run. Right click run now. Yep. And as you can see, there is now the shell that we have. Okay, so I just run it. Then now, now we have two shells there. So let's see, um, I forgot, let's do help. 
and let's do shell or um, let's do sessions shell a and there you have it we have we can type who am i and there you go there you have it so easy right like what we say in the hacking world once you get a physical access gg <laughs> and this is a very good technique that you can have in your toolbox oh till next time always remember keep on hacking my fellow hackista <laughs>